Hi everyone, this video will give you a brief overview of pheochromocytoma. So it is an endocrine tumor secreting catecholamines and it has an incidence of roughly 2 to 9 per 1 million, so it is rather rare. It is affecting men and women equally, however most importantly it can occur in familial syndromes. Whilst most cases are idiopathic, there are genetic associations to the disease, so up to a third of all cases result from those germline mutations, such as um, multiple endocrine neoplasia, or MEN2, um, von Hippolindo disease, or type 1 neurofibromatosis. And in fact, up to 70% of all patients with MEN2 will develop pheochromocytoma. In terms of the clinical presentation, I need to talk a bit about the pathophysiology. So it is a tumour derived from chromaffin cells in the adrenal medulla. And those catecholamines bind to alpha 1 and 2 as well as beta 1, 2, 3 adrenal receptors. And this results in an increased heart rate and contractility, glycolysis, increased respiratory rate, as well as pulmonary vasodilation and systemic vasoconstriction, amongst other things. How would this present? Well, this excess of catecholamines produces a classical presentation in those with pheochromocytomas. You get an episodic pounding headache, palpitations and tachycardia, as well as diaphoresis or excess sweating, as well as severe hypertension. Some other symptoms to be aware of are polyuria, weight loss, constipation and hyperglycemia. And a good way to remember it is using the American spelling of pheochromocytoma, where the first three letters stand for the three main symptoms, aka palpitations, headache, and excess sweating. Pheochromocytomas can be investigated with various different tests. You can do a blood test, 24-hour urinary sampling and analysis, and CT abdomen and pelvis. A regular blood test will show elevated blood glucose levels as well as high plasma catecholamines and metanephrine levels. Further investigations could include 24 urinary sampling and analysis and it analyzes total catecholamines, metanephrines and creatinine and it would show elevated levels of those hormones and the creatinine is used to ensure that the levels you measure um, are reliable. If those 24-hour urinary sampling tests are positive, you can perform a CT abdomen and pelvis in order to localize the tumor. The management of pheochromocytoma starts with alpha blockers such as phenoxybenzamine as well as beta blockers such as atenolol and propanolol. However, the ultimate definite management involves surgical excision or debulking in someone who is fit for surgery or iobenguinine I131 can be used in those who are unfit for surgery. This was a very brief overview of pheochromocytoma. If you have any questions please leave them down in the comments. I'm more happy to answer them but other than that thank you so much for watching.